Hey guys, we're going to talk today about the Thermite MCC4S. This is an upgraded version of the MCC charger. Brand new, just came out. I actually think I am the first one to review it. So there's a couple changes from the old version, which we're going to go over and then kind of show you what this thing does. So this is a charger that will charge three types of batteries, which are your lithium ion rechargeables, your 18650s, 26650s, 14500s, the rechargeable CR123s, all of those, as well as the nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium rechargeable double A's, triple A's, C's, I don't think it does D's, and uh, the last are the lithium iron batteries, so the Life PO4 that you sometimes read about, and this is one here. They're not very commonly used. They tend to be used more for things like uh, RC cars and things like that, but uh, having that capability is really nice to be able to do it. And they also do this in a very easy to use interface. So let's get into this thing. We're gonna throw in a battery. Show you. This is a 26650, which is pretty much the biggest battery that you're gonna get. And you can see it does fit, and it actually has a little room to spare. So it does have plenty of room there. And what it's gonna do is your, uh, LED is going to cycle between the voltage, how long it's been charging, and how many amps. You can select between the amount of amps going to this. This is both a half amp and a full amp charger just by hitting the button. See there is half an amp. Now we're at a full amp. Half amp, full amp. And you can do that independently for each of the four bays. This is a smart charger which is awesome. You can put in all different kinds of batteries into here. It will auto detect between the lithium ion rechargeables and the nickel metal hydrides. So if I do put in this nickel metal hydride here, and by the way, these EBLs suck. They're terrible guys. I bought some to try, hate them. So you see this one here picked up that it's a nickel metal hydride. And uh, you can see it's charging at half an amp. It always starts at half an amp. And you can see too, this one is actually full, and I filled it up earlier. It does end at exactly 4.20 volts, so this thing actually is very accurate when it comes to charging. It doesn't overcharge or undercharge, which is really nice. So now we're going to put in lithium iron over here. Okay. And what you do from here is you hold in the button for, I think it's about 10 seconds. There we go. And it switched over to the lithium iron mode. We'll zoom that in so you can see a little better. Hopefully. So you can see that now says Life PO4, which is short for lithium ion or lithium iron, whatever. So you can independently charge all your bays with whatever current you want and also whatever type of charging. So you can have all different types and combinations of batteries in this charger, which is what makes this thing nice. The original MCC4 was very similar. The difference being you couldn't select your uh, voltage. You actually It was actually based on the length of the battery in there. So if you had these short, you know, you couldn't charge them at an amp, these had to charge at one amp. Now you can select between each individual bay there's also some added protection. It will shut off after eight hours of charging. So if you are charging one of these big 26650s, after eight hours, it will shut itself down so you don't have to worry about it if you forget to unplug this thing or anything like that. So, you know, it was a good charger to begin with. But these couple of upgrades are actually very handy and it does bring this very up to date with the technology. And pretty much this is what you're gonna get on the market now. Price on this right now is about 30. Could go down, could go up, who knows, you know. But right now it's about $30, which isn't terrible. There are some chargers out there that are cheaper. There are some chargers out there that are cost more. Uh, one of the things about Thrunite is they tend to make pretty decent chargers. If you go online, look on the forums, you'll often see that the electrical engineers who tear these things down and actually do tests with bench power equipment actually usually have very good things to say about the Thrunite chargers. Historically, they've all been built very well. So there it is, guys. This has a super easy interface. 
you know, it's going to automatically detect between your nickel metal hydrides, nickel cads, and uh, lithium ions, so you don't have to do anything there. And literally changing the uh, the amperage is as quick as hitting a button. There's absolutely no effort to it. Nothing confusing, nothing you have to remember. And for most of you, you're not going to use lithium irons. So, you know, the odds of you holding in that button for 10 seconds randomly, not going to happen. So overall, it's a very safe charger. I've used this thing. I've charged probably 20 batteries on this because uh, I've been doing a lot of flashlight kind of runtime testing for my forum work. This thing charges very accurately to 4.2 volts. Occasionally, you'll get one that will go to 4.21, um, but that's no big deal as long as it's within that 0.05 volts, which is the accuracy that is expected of these things, you're going to be okay. So, no issues with overcharging. I've left these in overnight just to see. No issues with them overcharging, no issues with uh, batteries draining. Sometimes chargers, cheap ones, after the battery fills up, the charging shuts off and it will start to drain it at a certain amount. These keeps these topped off. I actually went and tested them a couple times over that like 12 hours and they were still at 100% charge. Some of them will drop. For example, you'll put this in, it'll charge to 420, it'll shut off and then it will start draining it back down to like 3.9 or I'm sorry like 4.15 volts and then it will charge it again kind of odd but it doesn't do that it seems to hold it at 4.20 with a trickle charge kind of based on my observations so it's easy it's safe to use no overcharging no heat I've, I've checked it many many times there's really no heat the uh, nickel metal hydrides do get a little warm after they're charged because they do have that uh um, trickle charge going into them and it does warm them up so it is something I would not leave them just hanging out in there but overall guys this is a very good charger it's a really nice upgrade uh, being able to select the two different voltages is very important especially when you are using the big boys here or you're using you know batteries such as like uh, 18350s or 18500s that you want to charge at one amp that are shorter and so now you're not being forced into that half amp charging at any time so you do, I do recommend using the half amp whenever you're doing uh, AAAs or 10440s or anything like that. So just to note, but overall, very good charger, very well built, no problems with safety. And I really like the interface. I really like the new LED. Everything about this is really good, decent price. And you know, as usual with ThruNet, you're always getting a decent pro uh, product. And you can always go online and see, uh, we have a, a baby awake here, so I'll be cutting this out here. and. Uh, you can go online and see people tear these things down and electrical engineers actually do just barrage as a test and they've always had good stuff to say about the through night chargers i've never seen a through night charger come through where they said it's unsafe or just dangerous so that's always a good plus